So I'm gonna mount the camera on my underwater scooter, gonna drive around in the pool for about 10 minutes and see if I can make this one fog up. driven around with this mask for about 15 minutes and it really does not seem to fog up. I am going to give it one last shot. I'm gonna head over to the sauna, sit there, get really warm and uh, sweaty so I know a regular mask would uh, fog up and then try again. <music> Okay, back from the sauna, real sweaty and warm. Did about 15 minutes in there. Let's see if we can make this fog. Okay, another five minutes, still no fog and I'm totally cooled down, so now the sound I won't have any effect anymore. Let's try with a regular mask. So I'm putting soap on one side, this one, and no soap on the other side. Let's see. I don't know if you can see here, but this side has no fog and this one is full of fog. And it took exactly 20 seconds from I took it on till it was totally foggy. Should you get a full face mask or should you just stick to a snorkel uh, or scuba mask? For the surface, these are amazing. They also close if you get the snorkel underwater so you don't get water in your mask. But if you're diving down more than a meter or two, it is very uncomfortable. The mask squeezes a lot on your face and it kind of feels like it tries to suck your face out. So I do not recommend these for diving down, but only on the surface. They're amazing. My girlfriend loves them. She hates using these, loves using this. She won't, almost won't go into the water if she doesn't have this. Though there is one very important thing if you're getting a mask like this. Get a good quality mask because there has been some writing in the news that uh, there's some problems with them, people uh, pass out and uh, drown. I don't know if that's true, but with this mask, for example, the air comes in here, it goes through a tube, then it gets into this compartment here, and then it pulls whatever would make fog with it down here, in through this one way, one way valve here, and into the face compartment, which is our own compartment here, as you, as you can see. Then, when you blow out, since these valves are one way, the air does not go back in here, making sure it doesn't fog up. The air goes down here, and then around in a channel here, and then out on the sides in a separate chamber here making sure you get fresh air all the time. The problem with those cheap masks, some of them, they just have one pipe here and they don't have the one-way valve. So when you breathe in, you breathe in fresh air. When you breathe out, since this is a big volume, the air will not get out. Meaning, some of the air that you breathe out stays in here. That's why those snorkels are so thin if they were very thick, some of the air you were breathing would be the same air as you breathe out. And then you can get so CO2 blackout and that's not very nice when you're out snorkeling. Another reason why uh, people 
might get these blackouts or problems in water with these masks is because when you wear this it's so much more comfortable and you feel so much more relaxed that people who wouldn't usually swim out and uh, snorkel around might do it with these masks. Hence, people who are not so experienced might get in trouble. So the answer of that, no fog, great for snorkeling, horrible for freediving, and be sure that you know how to swim before you go out.